Hey, good morning Facebook. It's Jerry. I'm coming to you again today from uh, Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in beautiful Guanacaste, Costa Rica. I'm going to, to ask you guys today to share this. If you're tuning in, please share this because there's some information here that I haven't gone over before. Uh, that's come up as a result of my Truthonomics course, uh, which happened a few weeks back, uh, maybe five weeks back. And I've gotten a lot of uh, questions over this, a lot of questions over what's, what was in that course and why things are structured a certain way. And first, I just want to say a little bit about Rhythmia. Uh, Rhythmia is a life advancement center that specializes in a particular type of activity, and that activity is remerging of your soul. Uh -huh. We've had about 6,000 people, almost 6,000 people through the doors. And, and about 95% of them, 94.89 I think as of yesterday, uh, so it's 948 out of 1,000, have this remerger happen to them while they're here and it changes their life and it really does change their life. And how do we know that? It's because we survey these people after they've checked out. So like uh, six months later they get a survey and we find out that 97.55% of them, uh huh that that miracle is still working in their life and that it's changed their life and that the week of Rhythmia was the week that they consider the week that changed their life. Uh -huh. So it's really wild shit. So now I'm gonna talk about some things. I'm gonna get right into the meat of this and I'm gonna ask you, look at if you know someone who can benefit from this, please, 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 please press share, okay? I'm gonna talk about something really important today. A lot of people who, who got merged uh, still make this mistake. So most of the stuff at Rhythmia is subconscious, that, that, that the work that we do is in the spirit realms, uh, it's in the subconscious, and it has this tremendous effect. This particular thing is a conscious endeavor. That's why anybody can use this thing, and, but it takes self-examination. You have to examine where you're at in your life. So what is the biggest reason that I see that merge people sometimes go back into the world and their their heart is better, they're feeling better, but they make the same mistake again. Uh -huh. And this is what it comes down to. My, the title of this thing is don't build your past mistakes to your future or to, you, to your current boss, product, lover. Don't do it. Uh -huh. Why? Here's the hardest part of this thing. That, that a guy or a girl is 50 years old and has made these mistakes in their life and now what they're saying is, okay, now when I go forward, I'm only going to go if I get all of these conditions met. Uh -huh. And I'm going to wait for that. Now this can happen in business, in love, in whatever. Uh -huh. And you start putting these conditions and you keep moving yourself further away from your target. Uh -huh. You keep moving yourself further away from your target. You go backwards, not forwards. So now you're saying, okay, I'm 50 years old. I have to get this done in 10 years because I, I have to do this and I have to do that or I have to get this lover and I made all of these mistakes before, all of these mistakes. So now what I want to do is put all these conditions so they don't make those mistakes again and you're fucking yourself. Now you're making it impossible because of a couple of different things. The first thing is, is it takes a long time to cultivate something, to cultivate something that can work for you. Uh -huh. and, and that work has to be put in on the front end. Uh -huh. So when you start to condense things and say it has to happen in this time period, you are act absolutely screwing yourself. Absolutely. And this is the truth. Uh -huh. So what is the big problem that people make? They miss they misinterpret their own value. They say all those mistakes now has made them valuable and they're not looking at their replacement value in life. This has nothing to do with your value to God. This has nothing to do with your value to the universe. This has nothing to do with your true core beauty. This has to do with your earth value. And on earth, we're all replaceable. We are all someone's value proposition. All of us. Uh-huh. What do I mean by that? 
Well, you're a value proposition to your boss. Your product is a value proposition to the world. You're actually a value proposition to your lover, to your partner. You are. Uh huh. And, and so here's, here's the thing that, that you got to be careful of. What is my replacement value? If I think I'm worth more than I am, uh huh, I'm going to have problems all the time in life. Uh huh. I'm going to have problems in business, big problems. I'm going to have problems with my employers, big problems. I'm going to have problems with my lovers, big problems. I'm going to have problems with my partners, big problems. I'm going to have partner. I'm going to have problems all over the place. Uh huh. Why? Why is this so? Because because we have to be honest about who we are. So, so there's two, two things that come up. If all of a sudden I get drop dead serious, honest with me about where I am in relationship to my boss and to my company or to whatever, and I say, you know what? This is really my replacement value. For, I'm making $300,000 a year. They can go get someone, get this done for 250. They tell the truth. Now we're faced with a choice. We either accept that that's where we're at or we become more valuable. Uh huh. And this is where, here's the great thing. The universe is a, is a different thing, but on earth, you will always get paid your worth. Uh huh. You will always get paid your worth. Uh huh. And what is your worth? The same thing that that's your replacement value. Uh huh. So you're a value proposition in love. You're a value proposition to your partner. It's the truth. Now, if you get away from it, if you get away from that and say you're not, you all of a sudden push yourself into a false reality. And in that false reality, you're going to get smacked. And, and so I don't give a shit how many fucking times you pray some other new way. If you can't get to the truth of this one thing, you're constantly going to miss the mark. You're constantly going to be upset. These are people that buy 400 different workshops and say, okay, now I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to pray this way. I'm going to do this without ever doing this, without ever getting to the assessment of your own value. Fuck. Uh huh. And I want to tell you what, if you're good value, if you're good value, what is good value? It means I provide more value than I suck off. Uh huh. If you're a good value, you'll constantly be in demand for all kinds of things. You're going to be a good friend. Uh huh. Means that you bring more value than you take. If you're a good employee, it means you create more value than you siphon off. If you're a good lover, uh huh, a good lover, good partner, it means you bring more to the relationship than you take. Uh huh. This is simple shit. Uh huh. So, so what does it look like? What does this? And I'm, I, I gotta drive this home. What does it look like? You first have to be realistic. That takes self-examination and it's not the end. You can be unattractive and bring all kinds of other things that bring up your value in a relationship. Fact of life. Uh huh. You can, you don't have to be the smartest at work. You have to create the most value. You have to wow your boss. You have to be doing more than they can buy someone else to do. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. If you sit there and say, well, I've wasted my whole life and I've made all these mistakes and the next person who I do something with is going to pay for them. Holy fuck. Is that a crazy shit? That's, that's a crazy way of looking at shit. And yet so many of us do it. And, and if you see, and I, I'm not, I'm it's men and women alike get divorced, go through the midlife thing. And then they say this. This next person, I'm not going to have this, 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 or this. Well, guess what? You just put yourself on the sidelines till you're dead. Uh huh. Because, because that's not how, how this has to be looked at. We have to come into something and say, how can I make myself irreplaceable? How can I add more value than I'm taking? This is the law of production. This is the law of moving forward. This is the law of being in harmony uh -huh, to, to, to bring more than I take. Wow. This is it. Now I'm going to tell you uh, th some things with this. 
if you live in a world where you think everything is perfect, that you think, and, and there, there are religions and, and theories that say everything is perfect, and everything is perfect on the universal level, but on the earth level, it is not. Uh huh. So if you're saying that everything's perfect, everything is supporting you, everything is this, it's really not true. It's not true. Because the nature of nature is competition. The nature of nature is competition. What flower gets the most light? Uh huh. What animal eats the most food? Uh, who's the fastest? Who's the smartest? Who's the, it's the name. That's what keeps the earth spinning. Now, on the universal level, it's all beautiful, but on the earth level, it's, it's a different thing. Uh huh. It's a different thing. Now, can we compete in love? Absolutely. Can we compete in harmony? Absolutely. Can we compete with helping each other? 100%. Uh huh. This is all, all doable. All right. But if you sit there thinking that everything is working for you and you just decide that you're worth, that's it. Anymore, I'm worth $2 million. And I don't even want to put a number on it because it might not be enough. Well, what the fuck are you doing for that? Huh? What value are you adding? Are you adding that somebody's going to pay you $2 million? You better be bringing $10 million of value that nobody else can bring or it ain't going to happen. Uh huh. So we got to get answering the right questions. And then, then people say this. This is another thing that came up in Truth and Nonics. That you can have everything you want, which is absolutely fucking true. Your birthright in this universe is to have the whole picture. You can have the whole thing. You just can't fucking have it all up front. Wow. You cannot have it all up front. The more conditions you put on it, the least likely that you're going to have the opportunity to build your house. You build your house first, you live in it and, and flow later. Uh huh. So if you're trying to do both at the same time, I want to build my house without extending myself and have things the way that I want, you're, you're just not that, not that clued in to how shit works. It does not work like that. Uh -huh. You can have it uh, on your own terms. You just can't have it on your own terms at the same time. So listen, we already did the marshmallow test. We know the biggest predictor of future success in children is the ones that say, okay, you can eat this one, this marshmallow right now, you can have it, leave them in a room, or you can wait an hour and have, I'll bring you two. Uh -huh. We already know that the children who succeed are the children who decide to wait. This is fact, proven, done. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact fucking same thing in human relations. It's the exact same thing in business. It's the exact same thing if you're starting a company. It's the exact same thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take mine later. Uh huh. And I want to tell you what, your next lover, your next partner, your next boss, the last thing they want to feel from you is that you want your shit up front and you want it as you're supposed to, and you're supposed to get it because you did all of this shit before. Holy fuck, is that the wrong way to do it? Is that the absolute wrong way to do it? The marshmallow test is done. Here's what I've learned. Uh, and people do this with their product. They go like, well, look, at it cost me all this much money to develop and to do this. I have to sell it for $999. Well, that's great. Your competitor, who didn't fuck up like you, is now selling it for $6.99. Uh-oh, but, but I need $9.99. Uh-oh, but you're out of business. Uh-huh, because people are going to go to where they get the most value for the least money. Fact. Fact. And if you can't get to this, this is your spiritual bypass. If you're doing it in, in business, it's a spiritual bypass. If you're doing it if, in your job, it's a spiritual bypass. If you're doing it in love, it's a spiritual bypass. The last thing a man or a woman wants to feel in their new partner is this list of demands without having done anything to get it. Holy God, is that a terrible thing? That's a terrible thing. So, so part of my message to you today is wake the fuck up. This is it. 
have an honest assessment of your value, right? And as soon as you put conditions, as soon as you put conditions on your dream, you're 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 knocking yourself out of your dream because there's someone out there who has the same dream without the conditions, and there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh huh. What I mean by that is this: this is in accord with God, not against God. Whatever your the 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 energy of Earth, it's one hundred percent with it. None against it. So I'm going to tell you, here's what people love to feel. In a relationship. In a relationship. Okay, I want you to feel like I'm willing to do everything for this relationship. I'm willing to bring more than I take. Now, all of a sudden, doesn't that make you valuable? Holy shit, does it. Uh huh. I want to bring more to the relationship than I'm taking. I want to bring more to my new job than I'm taking. Hey, Mr. Boss Man, I want to tell you what. I figured out a way to bring $3 million to the bottom line that you have nobody else who can do. And what I want for it is an extra $300,000 a year. Boom, you're in. You are in. You're, and you're in and you're never getting fired. Uh-huh. That's it. Here's the opposite of that. Hey, Mr. Boss Man, I'm not really going to bring new revenue in or make you make more money. I'm just going to do the same thing as everybody else is going to do. And I want 300. Uh, 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 doesn't work like that. Uh huh. Doesn't work. Or hi, Mr. Boyfriend, uh, my new boyfriend, or hi, my new girlfriend. I want to tell you, I want this, 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 and this because my past, I earned it by doing this in the past. Who the fuck are you to say that to that relationship? You're no one. And you're taxing the relationship before it had a chance to bloom and blossom. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. So what I'm saying is, you can have it all, but you have to build your house first. And when you build your house, and what I mean by build your house, build your career, build your relationship with your new boss, build your relationship with your new boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, uh -huh. build your relationship with your new company that you're starting, you can have it all as long as you build your house and do the hard work first. And here's things I'm going to promise you. It's going to take longer than you thought. And it's going to be bigger than you've ever dreamed. And you can have everything you've ever wanted. But you have to put your, comp your compensation, your bonus, your, your, your whatever, your at the end, not at the beginning. At the end. And you have to send a signal to the universe that I'm here to serve and I will take my cake last. Boom. I'm here to serve and I'll take my cake last. Boom. Uh huh. You do that and everything changes. So, so what is the question? What is the question? Here's the whole question. Not, not how, what can all this shit do for me? I'm important. I'm going to do this better. You know what? Look at your replacement value. Look at your replacement value, honestly. And then ask, how do I increase my value? How do I become better? Mm -hmm. How do I become more valuable to the relationship? How do I become more valuable to my boss? How do I make my product more valuable to the consumer? How do I make my service, my healing, better to the person who's buying it? How do I make myself better to the person who's buying me. Uh huh. That, and, and everybody's buying you. Your boss is buying you. Your kids are buying you. Your everybody is buying you. So, how do I make myself more valuable to them? You know why? By giving more and taking less. Mm hmm. And if I do that to my company, see, the thing is, if I do that to my company and my career, if I give more and take less and don't change tables, in the end, it gives it back to me, not tenfold, a hundredfold, two hundredfold, sometimes a thousandfold. Sometimes where is all this money coming from? I don't even have a use for this. Like, because you took your cake last. You took your cake last. You provided more benefit than you cost it. Uh -huh. I see all the time people in companies, they tax their own company up front. They go raise 
$500,000 and they start paying themselves $200,000 a year. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? Or they, they come into their boss wide-eyed. Oh, I want more money. But, but there's no story to that. I haven't added you more value. I haven't created more revenue for you. Uh -huh. There's somebody else who will do my job for less than what you're paying me now. And I want more. Nothing makes a boss more whatever than that. And I want to tell you, I have people in my company that have made tons of money in my companies from the past. Yeah, Some people 5 million, some people 17 million. Uh -huh. And you know, what they, you know what they started at? A lot of them, $10 an hour. Uh -huh. And they never asked for things. They, they created more. And because they created more, I turned around and gave things to them uh -huh. because they created more. And the same thing with this little company. We're in the early stages. I don't look at companies for in two year windows or three years. You know what I do? I'm old enough to look at everything in a decade. I want to look at everything as it's going to take a decade. Every single thing. Uh huh. You know, any anything. If I was if I left here today, even if I'm 70 years old and I leave here at 70, which is what 15 years or something from now, and I go get a new job. I'm going to look at that job in terms of 10 years. I am. I'm going to create value for my new boss on a period of 10 years and create value that he cannot go replicate without me and become so valuable to him. And then I'm going to ask for about 10% of the net revenue that I'm generating. I'm invaluable. I'm making a fortune because that 10% will go up and up and up and up and up. And I'll be done and happy and he'll never fire me ever ever same thing uh if you're in a relationship and you're adding value to that relationship you'll be the last one you might leave but the other person ain't gonna uh-huh because you're 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 giving more than you're taking you do it with your children your children never want to leave home which is a whole nother thing uh-huh and so you want to temper that but but do it with your boss. Do it with your company. Take last from your company and do it with your clients. Give them more than their, so, so this is the, the golden rule. I want my value proposition to be a minimum of 200% more than I'm giving, uh -huh. more than I'm getting. A minimum of 200%. So in other words, if my product costs $10, it better create $30 worth of value at the minimum, at the minimum. So in other words, if I'm doing healings, I better do a healing that's three times better than any other healing they can buy for the money. It's the only way you'll have a grassroots movement around what you're doing. Uh -huh. Do you ever notice this? Some people break up with someone and there's 50 people waiting to date them. 50. Uh -huh. And other people break up with someone and there's no one. Why? Because they've watched their last relationship and they saw the value proposition and it's something that they don't want. Just a fact of life, man. It's a fact of life. If you have a product that's great, really great, guess what happens? You have a line of people looking to buy it. A line of them. Uh -huh. if, you're, if, you're do, if you're a healer and you're amazing, those people will be lined up and the value proposition is right. Those people will be lined up down the, down the road. Tony Robbins, who's fantastic at what he does, has, ha, and I mean gives his, when you see his, I'm going to call it his show, when his show is over, you're like, holy, what the F, right? Uh-huh. People are lined up down the block, around the road, some of them paying 85000 a year, I think 1000 of them paying 80, to be around this guy, because you know what? Because he delivers on a value proposition. Boom. You deliver on a value proposition. This is not, this is not God's value of you. That's the spiritual side. God's value of you is you're whole, you're perfect, you're on time, you're never late, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful inside and out. That's all spiritual truth. I'm talking about earthly truth for those of us that want something out of the earth. What does that mean for those of us that for those of us that get a charge out of uh, creating something of value or 
getting compensated or, or having rich relationships. Without it, if you want something of you have expectations out of the earth, this, God's value, is your perfect. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Couldn't agree more with you. But I'm talking about earth value. Your boss's value of you might not be that you're perfect. Uh -huh. And then if you're not perfect, then you have to take a look at what are you costing him and what would someone else do it for? Boom. This is all it is, is you make yourself invaluable. Now, this is the kind of information that most people who aren't do, willing to do the work do not want to hear. Do not want to hear. They want there to be some formula or some chant or incantation or some kind of prayer that you can say that's going to give you more value than your replacement value to someone else. Uh huh. And that is a long shot. That is a long shot. What you're saying to someone is, I want you to pay me more than I'm worth. And then if that happens, guess what you are? A slave. Because you found the one person who will pay you more than your value. And now he owns you. Because you can't go anywhere else. Boom. Done. Not how you want to live your life, right? That is absolutely not how you want to live your life. So here's the thing. What does this all come down to? It comes down to the same exact thing. The same exact thing that's always been. That who am I and what do I want? Who am I? What are my, my shortcomings? What was this? What is it that I want and how do I get there? It's really, really, really the earth stuff is almost architectural or engineering based in nature. It's a simple path of getting there. If you put a lot of voodoo in it, you're gonna have a voodooish outcome. Uh huh. Now, I want all of, when I say the voodoo, if you put uh, magic into it and there are things that aren't quantifiable, then you're gonna have that kind of outcome. Uh -huh. I want the magic in this, in this relationship be with, with spirit because we're supposed to be bringing that spirit into the earth. Uh -huh. And how do we do that? We do that in the form of love. And what does love do? It fucking gives more than it takes. Boom. It's the whole thing. That How can you have the quan? By being it. Mm -hmm. By doing the work, and then you can reap what has some. See, it is the, if you take a look at nature, nature does the same thing, right? It plants. It works the field and then it reaps. It's the same shit. It is the exact same shit. Uh -huh. Love gives everything, takes very little. Uh -huh. There are cycles to things. You just have to look at this stuff and be it. And, and, and you know, if you're, if you're constantly n knocking your head against something with, with your, let's say you're 60 years old, you've been in, in the workforce for 40 years, and you still can't seem to make the amount of money that you think you're worth. Well, guess what? You are making the money that you are worth. And now, the real hard thing is, how do I create more value? Boom. How do I bring more than I take? Boom. Uh huh. You get serious with yourself and watch everything changes. Every single thing will change. Uh huh. Everything. Uh -huh. And that's the beauty of it. This can change in a nanosecond. This is so great. This is the greatest news. The good news is you're alive. You got two feet in a heartbeat and you have a new perspective. Bam. How do I create more value? And if not, because there's another way to go and usually you want to do both ends of this. If I can't, if I really don't know how to create more value, then let me do this. Let me work on the other end. Otherwise, do this. Adjust my expenses so they're lower. Lower my standards, which is okay to do. Uh huh. That creates a freer life. Or find something different to do that I can really add value to. This is the way of it. This is the way of nature. This, in the end, this is the way of God. This is the way of nature. Uh huh. So please, by all means, take some time this week, right on your calendar to self-assess where you're at with these things, with your life, with your career, with your relationships. 
to self-assess where you're at and if you're adding value to what you're bringing. And if you're adding value, are you charging the right amount of money for it? Uh-huh. That's it. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, I said a lot of ahas today. Notice that. But, but I really want this to sit with you. I want this to sit in with you because if you've been doing the same thing, you do more of what you've done, you're going to get more of what you got. It doesn't matter what you ask for. You can still, you can do the same thing the same way. Ask for whatever the hell you want. It doesn't matter. You're going to wind up with the same shit that you have. It's just the way it is. Until you change, until you are smart enough to look at the company you're working for and saying, hey, am I increasing revenue? Or am I, or am I uh, saving expense money? Am I doing this or doing that? What real value am I adding? Am I the only guy in the world that can do it? If I am, I can charge anything. If not, if not, then I better find out my true replacement value. And I better be less than it. This is it, man. This is amazing. This is it. Okay? So we get a brand new chance. It's a fresh start. Every single day is a fresh start. Every day that you are present enough to sit with yourself in truth is a fresh start. And every day that you're not willing to do that is a wasted day. So listen to this. You can kid yourself all you want looking for an easy way. You can, you can, you can do whatever you want trying to find an easy way. You can waste all the time in the world. Uh, Van Halen used to have a song right now and it said, working so hard to make it easy. How that is what you're doing when you're trying to, to, to pray your way into a situation that you're not adding value in. It's, it's a circular reference. It doesn't, it simply fucking doesn't work. It doesn't work. Now, praying your way, uh -huh, here's the right prayer. Oh God, show me how I can create more value in this situation. <laughs> Boom. Now we're on the right, not only are we on the right path and on the right track, all of a sudden, all the angels assist. Everything comes in to assist, and that is 100% true. Uh -huh. Show me how I can add more love to this situation. Show me how I can be more loving, more compassionate, more understanding, and add more value to my relationship with this person. My mother, my father, my, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my husband, my wife, my dog, I don't give a shit who. My company. Uh -huh. Show me this, and I'll show you someone who's just going to have an easy time of it. Uh -huh. Not an easy time of it, an extremely rewarding time of it. And that is the absolute positive, God's honest truth. Uh -huh. we're, we're so easy to tack our shit on someone else for mistakes we made in the past. Wake up. Wake up. If you're running out of time, give yourself more time. So what I mean by that, oh, I'm, I'm 32 years old and I have to get married because I live in L.A. and da 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 Fuck it. Start bringing more to everything that you do, and you'll see how quick that, that happens. Bringing more. Being a better boyfriend, a better girlfriend, a better this, a better that. Uh huh. Oh my God, I'm 51 years old and I'm retired, or 55 years old and I'm, I have to retire in five years and I have no retirement money, and I need $20 million to retire. Well, guess fucking what? Uh huh. There's a real good chance that that ain't gonna happen. But if you change everything, and you start adding value to something, maybe in 10 years it can. Uh huh. Here's what to do. Don't tax that donkey up front. Don't. Uh huh. I hope this is making sense. I hope this hit home with someone because this is all what? Plant medicine wants us to live in the truth. Plant medicine wants us to live in the truth. Uh huh. And if you, and that means in all truths, in every part of your life, if you're not in the truth, then, then you're just wasting time. Uh -huh. So even though it's hard to hear the truth, you won't be wasting time. For the first time, you'll be making steps forward, not backward. Beautiful shit. So please, please, please come, come, come in, uh, number one, Come and dial the 
and speak to someone because come and see us at Red Bean. We have the most amazing program that'll put you here, uh -huh, put you here, merge you back, which will allow you to pick something that you're willing to stay with for a decade. And then that thing will pay off a hundredfold. Trust me, I have to tell you something. I did this kind of shit when I was younger and I was trying to save, I was trying to get $10 million. That was my thing. And I was trying to do it in four years. Uh -huh. And I didn't, I missed it. It took six years, uh -huh. but I made a hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. So it's gonna take longer, uh -huh. but it's gonna be bigger than you ever thought. So give yourself 10 years and finish four years early and finish five years early. Give yourself 10 years and look at it that way. How would you treat someone? How would you treat someone if you knew you were gonna be around them in 10 years? Uh -huh. You treat them differently, right? Like if I'm gonna do something with you and we're gonna be in it for 10 years, I gonna make sure that I don't give you shit to hold over me and to hate me for three years from now, five years from now, nine years from now. Uh -huh. I'm gonna to try to add more, than, I wanna to try to give more than I'm taking. Uh -huh. Well wait, that means that you're gonna run a deficit. Guess what? Love has no deficit. There is no way. Uh -huh. There is no way. There's no deficit. It's, it's eternal. It's, it's, it's uh, what do you call that? Eternal and it keeps making it. Uh -huh. There's none, you can't run out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Okay, good. I want to tell you, I gave that a lot because it means so much to me. If, the, if it's one message I could get to people and it would help them so, so, so much, I want them to, 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 I want them to have it and to hear it because right now, right now, we can change our lives. We can change the course of our lives with ease just by trying not to take shortcuts, by bringing more than we're taking. Simple stuff, man. Great, great, great. Eternal and infinite. Thanks, Amanda. That's what I was looking for. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I love you. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God hold you. Please come to Rhythmia. Please come here. Uh-huh. Until next week, I'll see you then. God bless.